Hey everybody, Max coming here, Slave Cute Podcast. It's not too long. So you guys, uh, what do you, you pay your rent? What? You live in a house? Huh? You got a mortgage? What are you doing? You live in your parents' basement? Is that what you're doing? Like, mommy, mommy, can I live here? I don't want to pay rent. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's actually what I'm going to be doing, uh, when I move back to America, uh, next week, you know? Gonna be living with mommy. Uh, I don't know if she wants rent, you know? Maybe I should probably give her some money, though, you know? That'd be nice of me, right? Oh, uh, man. Fucking, fucking, the rent is too damn high, man. I don't know, you guys remember that guy from New York? He was running for mayor or governor or something, you know? He was a crazy person, and uh, basically his whole platform was the rent was too high, so he wanted to lower it, you know? But, uh, you know, anyway, I don't know if you guys are uh, paying rent or, you know, if you live anywhere. I don't know if you have a, if you, uh, you know, are homeless or not, or if you live in your car, or I don't know. I don't know what your setup is, you know, but uh, over here in Japan, I, I, uh, I lived in an apartment, you know? I had to uh, pay rent, and uh, you know, of course, uh, most most places you you pay rent for the next month, right? So you pay in January for February's rent, right? You got to pay ahead. You know, you can't uh, you can't pay for the month that you're actually living in, cause 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 then you're living there for free for a couple weeks before you pay. You know, you can't do that. You know, you gotta have your deposit, got a security deposit, two months rent. You know, anyway. So um, I've been living in this place for like uh, six years. And it's had three different companies have owned the building, you know. I guess they're all pretty pretty bad companies because they all went bankrupt and then someone else bought the building and that happened twice. So now this third company owns it. And they're probably the worst. Uh, they're the worst uh, incompetent people out of all the all the other people that own this building. So uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to go out of business too pretty pretty soon here, you know. First thing they did when they, when they took over the building is they changed the building name, you know. It used to be called uh, Collective Residence. Which is, uh, you know, it's a sort of communist, socialist uh, sort of uh, vibe there. But, uh, you know, English uh, Japanese people don't really speak English, though. So collective residents, they don't really understand the, the Marxian nuance of, uh, of that. But, uh, you know, they just think, oh, it's English. It's cool. I'm going to live here. Yay, you know. And uh, so uh, then, the, then the new company took it over and they changed the name of the building to... Uh, some fucking French bullshit, right? They named it to Bran Bonheur. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. You know, I don't speak French, and and uh, it's actually written in Japanese. You know, with like the wrong pronunciation. You know, like uh, like uh, for example, you know, in English the word uh, table. You can say that in Japanese too, but it's not the pronunciation isn't table. It's table, table, right? So I don't know what French word this is supposed to be, but the Japanese pronunciation is Bran Bonheur. And, uh, you know, anyway, uh, that's a pain in the ass here, because uh, here in Japan, you know, they, uh, the way the addresses work, it's a little different, and uh, the building name is very important, right? And the building name is written on your, on your ID card, you know? So when they changed the name of the building, everybody, everybody that lived there had to go down to the fucking city hall and get their address changed on their ID card. That was fucking bullshit. You know, I never did that, because uh, fuck that, you know? That's a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, so anyway, uh, so when they took over, you know, they... Uh, my my rent was automatically taken over out of my bank account, right? But uh, but uh, they didn't do it. They just sent me a bill. You know that that's another thing here too in Japan. They uh, uh, when you pay bills like a lot of electricity bill and all that shit, uh, you can if you don't have it sent to your account, you can just have them. They send you a paper bill, and then you can go to the convenience store and you pay it there. It's like that's like what a lot of people do. They pay their bills at the convenience store. You know it's really convenient. Uh, you know so anyway, they uh, they started sending me a bill. You know. And they like missed a month, so, so it, it turns out I was paying for a month before, but then, you know, that I started paying for the month that I was actually living there, you know. So anyway, uh, I uh, so this month rent, you know, this month for December. So they sent me the bill, and you know, I was thinking, I was thinking that uh, I pay, I pay for the month before, you know. So I was thinking, it's like, why did they send me a bill here? Why did they send me a bill? I. I'm moving out. I'm not going to live here in January. I'm not fucking paying this goddamn bill here. But it turns out uh, it was actually for this month. So so I probably should pay, you know. But And then I showed my girlfriend, and she's like, she's like, ah, don't pay it. Don't worry. I was like, what? What are you talking about? That's illegal, right? She's like, no, nah, it's Japanese style. No one pays no one pays their last month rent, you know. You know, it's like your security deposit, because that's the thing, too. My security deposit, I had to pay more, you know, because they're fucking racist over here. They make the foreigners pay more. And I think that's probably why they did, you know, because maybe the foreigners, they just... Uh, they just peace out on their last month rent, you know? So I had to pay two months security deposit. And my girlfriend's like, yeah, yeah, I mean, you pay that security deposit. You don't just leave, you know? They'll, they're going to take, they're not going to give you that back that money anyway because they're jerks, you know? And that's the thing. Everyone's incompetent at this goddamn company. Like, 
they were supposed to send me my, my final contract or whatever like a month ago, and they never sent it. And I finally sent them an email. And I'm like, oh, you're going to send that? And they're like, oh, we already did. We already sent it. You didn't get it? It's like, no, I didn't get it. What the fuck? Of course I didn't get it. Why would I be asking this question if I got it already, you fucking moron? God damn it. Why are you so dumb? And they're like, oh, sorry, we sent it to you already, but I guess we'll send it to you again. And I was like, no, just fucking send it through the email. Just, I'll print it myself because you guys are fucking useless and you don't answer any emails. This is the fucking third email I had to send before you sent me a reply. God damn it. You know, anyway, uh. So, uh, they finally sent it to me, and, uh, you know, there's, like, I gotta pay the cleaning fee or whatever. That's, like, 350 bucks. So, my girlfriend's just like, yeah, I mean, you gotta pay the cleaning fee, and they're probably not gonna give you your money back because they're incompetent, and, uh, and, uh, you know, they're gonna find whatever excuse they can to not pay your money back. So, just don't pay the rent, and then that's less money that you won't get back. And I was like, oh, okay, that's, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, that's a Japanese way, you know? Don't pay your rent, you know? We'll just wait for them to kick you out, you know? I hear in California, like, the uh, the renter's laws are really, uh, really one-sided for the person living in the place, you know? Like, you can just squat in a house that's not even yours, and then they they go to kick you out, and it's just like, I live here now. I've been squatting in this place for three months. I, I, got, I got mail that's coming here. I live here now, you know? And, like, apparently, you know, the lawyers can't even kick you out of the place. So it's like, what the what the deal? What, what, what What's the deal, yo, you know? California, what are you doing with the rent agreements, you know? I think that's what I'm going to do with my mom, you know? When I'm moving in my mom's place and she's like, she's going to be like, Kevin, you need to pay rent. And I'm like, fuck you, mom. I'm squatting here. You can't kick me out. I got mail coming here. All right. I'm going to lawyer. I'm living. This is my house now. I'm taking over. You need to move out. You know, anyway, uh, that was a few minutes. Don't pay your rent. It's the, it's the Japanese way. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow.